Okay, a short while ago I had a light little problem. I inadvertently ran the carriage into the chuck. Uh, did do a lot of damage, you know, it scared me more than anything else. It was quite, quite a, a shock when it happened. So at the time I thought, right, I need a carriage stop. I need something to stop the carriage from hitting it. So my first attempt was I made the usual clamp that fits on the, um, on the ways here. And it was just a hard stop. Okay, well it was fine. Uh, I had an adjustable which I could change. But then I thought, well, okay, why not make it an actual power stop, a power shut off? Shouldn't be too difficult. So I um, had a quick look at the circuitry and we've got a stop button here. Um, if you take this panel off, you can get to the back of the stop panel. Um, so I thought, okay, just wire another button across it. I, uh, I filmed all of this about uh, a week ago and I filmed it my first time ever. I filmed it in great detail showing everything I did. And then Final Cut Pro, wonderful old Final Cut Pro X, um, cocked up and deleted all my media. Um, it did it in a very subtle way which made it completely unrecoverable by copying the file, an alias to the file on top of the same file. Which, uh, yeah, okay, so I thought bugger it, I'll have to do it again. Unfortunately, um, I can't show you step by step, but I can show you what needs to be done, and it is incredibly simple. The whole thing took a couple of hours tops to do. Um, so, um, if I take you to bits, I can give you a, a little rundown of, of exactly how it was wired up. Let me show you it in action. It's fairly straightforward. I run the carriage over here. Okay. Start it going, engage, and the carriage will now travel until it reaches the stop, at which point it will hit the button and stop. There we go. Took a while, sorry about that. I might, I might trim that down on edit, but you get the idea. Um, and I will show you it in close-up and then we'll go in and have a look at how it's done, okay? So here's a close-up view. Um, engage the power feed and it travels along, presses the button and it stops it. And uh, this is an example of what it looks like. What we have here is a, just a, basically a movable frame um, the button is just mounted in here um, it's not permanently mounted yet because I'm planning to change the switch put in a just a slightly more robust one it doesn't get much of a hammering but it's better if it's a, just a slightly more robust switch and here we've just got a barrel jack and a socket and the it's incredibly difficult to put some, do something when you're looking through the viewfinder. And this button here, I'll come back to this button here. This is the override button, and I'll explain what that does later on. Okay, so let's take the front off and we'll have a look and see how you wire it up. Okay, before you start, make sure you turn the power off, and just to be doubly safe, remove the plug. Um, there is mains behind here. It is not easy to con to touch it. It is not exactly um, simple uh, you'd have to be out of your way to do it but just better safe than sorry so completely removed from the mains to get inside you just undo those four screws here okay that's all we do so i will undo those and we'll come back okay this is the front panel removed and as you can see we have a circuit board in here and at the back you can see there are terminals which go to the switches on the front panel. Okay, they just sort of push switch. I'm sorry about the, um, the thing wobbling about. It's not easy to do this. Um, but the bottom switch is the stop switch. And these two connections here are the connections that go off to the circuitry to say the button has been pressed. So by placing wires, soldering wires onto there, and connecting them to the push to the um, socket here we can go out from the socket to the push button so what we now have is a button that when you push it 
is the same as pushing the stop button. I hope this is not teaching Granny to suck eggs, but it's uh, there are some people that um, that are engineers, but they're not electrical engineers or electronic engineers. So I'm trying to keep it simple. It is extraordinarily simple. Just tack those two wires on there, and then take them through to the switch here, so that as the carriage comes along and hits the the button, it it stops the carriage. Okay, that was the first thing I did, and it worked fine, no problems whatsoever. But then I had a thought that this would be really quite useful to use for threading. But there is a problem. When this button is pressed, you cannot reverse the uh, direction of travel or start it up again until the button is not pressed. Okay. So I didn't want to have to disengage anything here. So the easy way to do that is just to have another switch in series, which is normally closed. So this switch is, is always closed until you push it. Okay, this one is always open until you push it. This one's always closed till you push it. So as the carriage comes along and hits the button, it stops the, 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 um, the motor, so it stops turning. What you do then is you press this button here, which now allows you to control, use the front panel. You can now turn it into reverse and start it going. And once it's started, you can let go of that button because it's now, this has now opened up again. Does that all make sense? And I'll do a little circuit, show you a little circuit diagram, um, which I'll attach to this as well. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, the, this wire here goes from the switch. One wire goes to the um, to the socket, through to here, back again to the socket, up to this switch, through the switch, and then back down to the other connector. Okay, I hope I'm not labouring the point. I'm not um, not a sort of professional YouTuber, uh, not like this old Tony. My God, his videos are outstanding, aren't they? I don't know how he finds the time to do them. Anyway, I'll put it all back together again, and uh, I'll see if I can get this up and uh, onto YouTube without Final Cut Pro killing it again. <laughs> I'll make copies this time. Should have done that before. Okay, thanks. Bye.